सबका प्राइस भी लिखा है कौन सी कितने में उसकी है ये ऐसे है ये बारह ईयर है ये एटीन है ये फिफ्टीन ये है एल बड़ी और सॉसेज भी हैं जिसकी सॉसेज तो हमने अभी टूर बुक कर लिया आप टूर स्टार्ट होने वाला तो विल शो यू कि कैसे विस्की बनती है इस बार्ली लाइक बार्ली यू माई हैव एट होम और यू कैन सी इन शॉप शेल्स वी वुड यूज इट फॉर सूप फॉर एग्जाम्पल बट इट स्टिल हैज द हस कॉन सो इट माइट लुक अ लिटल बिट डिफरेंट टू वॉट यू थिंक ऑफ वन यू थिंक ऑफ बार्ली द हस्क इज द आउटर शेल और द जैकेट ऑफ द बार्ली बट अंडरनीथ दैट शेल इन साइड दैट जैकेट इज जस्ट बार्ली लाइक वॉट यू वुड पुट इन सूप फॉर एग्जाम्पल बट इट्स मोल्टेड बार्ली so it has gone through a malting process mm-hmm. malting barley means soaked in water for 2 days okay. after that all the water is drained off mm-hmm. and the barley will begin to germinate mm-hmm. we let germination last for 5 days during that time enzymes are being released within the barley and we'll use those enzymes a little later on to turn starch into sugar then we add yeast and fermentation turns the sugar into alcohol. Right. We're left with a liquid. We'll distill that two times. That's how you make more whiskey easy. <laughs> right. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Yeah. <laughs> um getting a little bit ahead of myself. After 5 days germination, we have to halt germination. Halting germination means drying it. This first example has been dried in a kiln using hot air. Imagine a big oven or a big tumble dryer, for yeah. example. Whiskey made out of this first example, you would get natural cereal flavors, multi flavors, sweet flavors coming out of whiskey made out of this first example. I'll pass that to you. Yeah. Hold it. You can take that. Hold it. Just hold it. Yeah. Are you scared? Oh my God! Oh my God! There is a second method to drying barley, a more traditional method to drying barley, and that is using fire and smoke. Okay. We'll light a fire, we'll burn peat, which is a traditional fuel source in Scotland, driving the smoke from that peat fire over and through the barley, and it's going to make this second example smell smoky. Mm-hmm. Let me take that off from you, and you can take this one. Just give it a smell. should get smoky aromas coming off. Mm. Mm. Oh. Very strong. Hey. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> so, two different types of malt and two different types of malt whiskey. Smoky and not smoky. The only difference between the traction, but this year we're not doing it. And everything i just spoke about all that soaking germination drying smoking if applicable yeah. don't do any of that here on site anymore we stopped doing that in the 1970s it's more cost effective for us to buy this from more houses mm-hmm. they're third party they're they're just that's what they do they turn barley into malt sell it on often to the beer industry or the whiskey industry it gets delivered Every day we get two deliveries, one in the morning, one in the evening. Trucks pull up through the wall, they deposit into one of our vault bins, which is what is going on behind me. We call them vault bins in the industry, but they're grain silos, they're storage containers, that's where we store our malt. 
We get two deliveries. Each delivery is 28 tonnes, so we get 56 tonnes of malted barley delivered every day. We have 18 malt bins. We only use eight of them currently, the eight that are closest to us. Malt whiskey is distilled in batches. We're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's always someone here doing something that means more whiskey, but we're not continuous distillation. That is a different process for a different type of whiskey. We distill in batches every 24 hours. We do four batches and each batch begins here with 11 tons of malt getting released into one of these long pipes. Mm -hmm. It then gets pulled up to this end of the room getting dropped off into the smaller pipe that runs along the floor and then taken next door to the mill. The mill room is our next stop as well. You're welcome to do photos here if you want. Please, no photography in the mill room. Whenever you're ready, we'll head on through. Any questions so far? This is the newest part of our facility. We opened this in 2015. Four times a day, our lens comes to small small we get 11 tons of grist back out again, store that in the grist bin, just a storage container, nothing really goes on in there. When we are ready to continue, we'll move the grist from the grist bin into the mash tub. Mash tons are big stainless steel cooking pots. We add water in three separate amounts. Each charge, each amount, will be in there for two hours. This is a six hour stage. The water reactivates the enzymes in the mold. They do their job. They turn starch into sugar. And then the heat from the water melts the sugar out into the water. Of liquid heat. Fermentation takes place, the yeast turns the sugar into alcohol. At the end of 58 hours, we'll have a liquid that is 9 or 9.5% nine alcohol, similar to a beer. Everything I've described, everything we've done so far, more or less, we are making fairly simple, fairly food beer. What we're going to do now is distill that beer two times. Fundamentally, whiskey is distilled beer. During distillation, we're separating alcohol from water. We want the alcohol, we don't really want the water. We distill two times. The first distillation, just over here. They all do the same job. They work simultaneously. We're gonna fill them up. We're gonna raise the temperature. At 80 degrees, the alcohol begins to boil, becoming a vapor, rising up the spill. The vapor then goes through a heat exchange. We can get residual heat back. We can reuse that heat, reuse that energy. After that, the vapors go through a cooling condenser we cool them down, the vapour returns to liquid form. We put in 45,000 litres of 9.5% alcohol. At the other end, we'll get 18,000 litres of 20 to 25% alcohol. We put in 45,000 litres, we raised the temperature. At 80 degrees, the alcohol began to boil, but the water did not boil. The water is still at the bottom of the spill. We're separating alcohol from water. Anything that is left at the bottom of the spill, we have no more use for. We call it hot ale. Very low in alcohol, less than 1%. Once again, we're running it through a heat exchange. We can get that heat back, reuse that heat, reuse that energy. Our heat exchange equipment came in 2015 when we built this part of our distillery. Most distilleries, they do not have this yet. I believe more will start to adopt it in the coming years. Makes us more environmentally friendly. 
lowers our energy consumption. The bottom line for a business it lowers our cost. So, जो हमने start में देखा था, अब उस वाले area में आते हैं. टेम्परेचर At 80 degrees, the alcohol begins to boil. It becomes a vapor, and it rises up the spill, goes outside where it's cool. It's condensed. It returns to liquid form, and then re-enters the spirit phase, pouring here. This first runoff, we call the head. The head has a very high alcohol content. including things like methanol that are not safe to drink so we cut the head off we're not going to bottle that we're not going to sell that the head will run for half an hour or 30 minutes after the head is finished we swap it over and now we collect the heart the heart is the good stuff the heart is what we're going to make whiskey out of but it's not whiskey yet After the heart has finished, which will take two and a half or three hours, we change it over again, and now we collect the tail. The tail has a lower alcohol content and flavour compounds that don't taste good. So once again, we're cutting the tail off. The tail runs for two or two and a half hours. We're not going to bottle that. We're not going to sell that. We're mixing the head and the tail together, along with low wine from the next batch, and we constantly redistill head, tail, and a new batch of low wine. This is an old-fashioned manual spirit safe. We don't use this kind anymore. We have more modern automatic safes up at the back wall. They're controlled by computer. They have very accurate chemical sensors attached that tell us exactly what's flowing through them. Lets us do this cut very accurately, very precisely. Add water to the heart; it stays clear. If you add water to the head and the tail, it will go cloudy, and then sense of hearing. These are big copper kettles. And like a kettle, you can tell how hot it's getting by what sound it's making. We'll regroup outside, and then we'll continue. Casks. That's why it smells. Sixteen uh, years old. We lose one to two percent per year over sixteen years. I'm going to say that's maybe twenty-five percent missing out of the cask. And how much do yes, we pour in? This is porous. So. Say again. How much do we pour mm, in, in the cask? Oh, uh, that'll be two hundred liters, and it goes right to the top. Two hundred liters. What's yeah. the percentage of alcohol? Yeah. Our filling strength is sixty-four and a half percent alcohol. They're sherry bucks. They've come from Spain. They would have been used to age sherry in them before we got them. Bourbon, bourbon, and sherry. sherry. Up until the 1960s, sherry was king. Most of Scotland's whisky was matured in sherry bucks. The Spanish sherry producers would ship the sherry to the UK 
economic reasons, the Spanish decided they wanted to start bottling in the UK. They didn't want to pay people in the UK to bottle. They would rather pay people in Spain to bottle. So they started bottling in Spain and shipping us the bottles. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, all these empty butts weren't in the UK anymore. Mm -hmm. So we started buying them from America. Yes. Now the majority of Scotland's whiskey is matured in ex-bourbon barrels. In America, it comes from the 30s, from the Depression era. Mm -hmm. It was economic stimulus. Okay. They wanted to get more people employed, more people with jobs. When people have jobs, they get paid. When people get paid, they spend their money. It was more money into the economy. We have different conditions. You'll see Forbes, you'll see Madeira, and some spirits as well. When our new make spirit that we get from the stills goes into the cask, it has no color. You can see the range of colors from the different casks. All are also a sherry quite a dark colour, like a caramel. Cognac, a premium brandy, much, much lighter, like a straw or a gold. Everything that you see with a Glen Murray label on it comes from one of our 13, pardon me, 13 warehouses. We mature everything on site. But with tape and glass. The warehouse is my favourite part of the tour. It's quite cold today, but it's, it's quiet and it's atmospheric and aesthetic in a way that the distillery perhaps isn't. Yeah. It's also where whiskey is made. Whiskey comes from the warehouse. Whiskey doesn't come from the stills. Spirit comes from the stills. Whiskey comes from the warehouse. You're welcome to explore here. If you <laughs> How does it smell? Pretty stronger. Yeah. Oh. Smell this one. Uh, okay. Mm. <laughs> so, this yeah, bottle ka color, the bottle me color of this cask. Try this one. I need to pork in it. This smells. This smells very good. 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 So, it stinks. spirit store. So, it's a very Whiskey banti hai. How long they store it for makes a whiskey. Aur bahut hi sundar. And aroma hai yahan pe whiskey ki. Kyunki evaporate hoti hai isse whiskey. And is the say 1980? Aur leak bhi ho rahi hai kar. Wood. Just for, oh no, just for video with Kayaki. And the second is this. But I came up here the whiskey for the And I brought the hotels for the tour. So, up to our whiskey testing, we have to go to our family. 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 We have Daru plow, we daru plow. Come plow, daru. Yeah, visitor center. Yeah, whiskey tasting. So, so this one is 
This is the twisted vine that I'm pouring first of all. Twisted you can vine. all try two whiskies. Two whiskies. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between them two? So uh, you've got two different whiskies here, different maturations, which is different cask types. Is it the, that's the color difference? Yes. Uh, this has been aged, I think, about five or six years, but it does not have an age statement on it. Yeah. You know it's at least three years old, though, our legal minimum. Aged in ex-bourbon barrels, mm -hmm. then finished for a short finish in very heavily charred new oak casks. So, first of all, aged in ex-bourbon. Then aged for a short time in casks that have not been used before and the inside of the cask has been burned. This isn't going to make it taste smoky. It will bring out the sweetness. This is quite a sweet whiskey. I think it has toasted malt flavours. It's 40% alcohol and it has been chill filtered. Uh, the second whiskey I'm going to pour for you, once again, doesn't have an age statement on it. You know it's at least three years old, though, our legal minimum. This has been matured in cognac casks. Cognac is a premium brandy from France. The flavours you're getting from this, it's still sweet, but it's a slightly more earthy sweetness. You've got some raisin flavours, flavors some caramel flavours in there. Once again, it is 40% alcohol and it has been chilled, filtered. If anyone's driving, please, please do not drink and drive. We have driver's packs. It is three pounds for the pack. Uh, there's four bottles in there. You can fill up the bottles with the whiskies I give you today. Uh, stickers, you can write on the sticker what they are. Uh, we'll give you that to help you pour and a pen as well. As I say, it's three pounds for the driver's pack. Take a driver's pack if you want. I really hope you all enjoyed your tour. Thank you for visiting today. I hope you enjoy your whiskies as well. Enjoy. So, tasting it and the smell of it, Smell good, good, good. No, it's huh? not for you. I don't like the whiskey smell, you know that. So, nice. taste it, Karo. Karo, it's really nice. 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 And taste it. This is a bit like burnt tire smell. Mm. Come on. This is stronger. Stronger? This is more stronger. Driver's bag, Johami Lena Bodega. We don't have to. We don't want to drink and drive. So let's do this. Okay, now. ये भर लिए भी हमने एक बोतल और ये है yes. दूसरी बोतल एंड दे गिव मी फोर स्टिकर्स दे मैक्स बी फॉर अ रीजन वेलकम टू एपिटी तब तब बच गए